Hello again, uh, back in the woods, uh, beautiful day, coming to an end, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try and finish up with something. I'm going to continue from where I left off with the wooden planks um, from the fallen oak, and I thought a good use for this tough bit of wood would be to make a tougher saw, um, and slightly bigger, so that it could actually take on a bigger size log. Um, so immediately I was thinking something like a buck saw, which if I could make it quite large and hopefully that would be able to have more diameter to actually cut through a larger piece of log. So that's the plan. I'm going to make a buck saw. I mean, I wish you could pick them up for a buck, but... Oops. So if we go over here, um, we have the plank. We have the uh, planks that I got. I've got two little planks. Um, I've just managed to get this little bit off here. which has been measured to uh, about 60, 70 centimetres, roughly. Um, and that's a beautiful little bit of wood. Um, very heavy, very solid. Um, the grain is helping me out no end. I'm able to split it via the grain with very small tools, chisels, wedges, wooden wedges. Um, and yeah, the idea is to get two of these um, and then a crossbar, uh, hopefully in time for when I actually get my new blade, which is going to be a 24 inch um, dried wood blade, which uh, up to now I've been using green wood um, or Yeah, I've been using green wood saws, um, not dried, um, and they're very fast and efficient for getting through things you need to, um, but I'm thinking this oak is just, it's just going to be a bit, a bit tough, so might as well get tough with it. Okay, anyway, so I've got one bit there. The next plan is to get another bit the same size, hopefully, by just splitting it again. I've already started to make a cut, um, and I might guide it a little to go where I want it. And I'm following this grain. Um, I do have a Dremel, which is, uh, you know, not everybody has them, but it is great just for laying down the lines of where you need to cut and where things need to be splitting, really, instead of just splitting straight across somewhere. But I'll get on with that, and I'll come back to you with, hopefully, some results. Seems to be splitting very well so far. Um, still time. Right, that's up to the extent that can go. <coughs> now we just step up the wedge really.
safely get that chisel out. Had a little accident with that a few weeks ago. Be careful with chisels, they're very sharp. And I maintain you shouldn't cut yourself twice in the same with the same device. You should learn. <laughs> in theory. So now we're going to step it up to this axe head. Which, by the way, was the axe I was reviewing in the last video. Um, a home base 15 pounds axe. Um, the handle broke very easily with not much effort. So I'm left with this metal wedge, which is a rather expensive metal wedge. But there's always the option I can make a new handle. I mean, the wood they used on this handle is just horrible. I don't know where they got that from, but that's not strong. Brittle and horrible. So, maybe improve it. We'll see. as I feared it's coming away from the line but hmm, I don't know. We should try. You might want to go and make yourself a cup of tea. Um. thinner than I would like. But, um, it might do. Not after perfection. Which is a good job really. <coughs> Bit of cracking, always worth checking out where it's cracking. <laughs> 